Hey, what's going on guys? Skit Gaming here, and today we are going to be looking at my personal favorite class in Blood and Iron, the Cavalry. We've seen them in movies, books, and historical paintings. These guys were awesome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take control of your own steed and ride into glorious battle. A cavalry man is nothing without his mount. Luckily, Blood and Iron gives you a free one every round. Horses are much faster than people on foot, so they can open up a whole horizon of new opportunities. The horse, being a living animal, also has health, which is displayed right below your own. Your horse can take more hits than you can, but avoid being shot or lanced. A charging horse is insta-killed on wooden spikes, pikes, and lances. W is accelerate, A and D are to wheel in one direction or the other, and S is the brakes. In order to mount a horse, you have to be in the correct class. Joining the Cav Club is easy. Simply play a map where Cavalry is an option, then click the tab labeled Cavalry. Select any of these loadouts and you're ready to ride. The Cavalry class is divided into three roles, Hussars, Lancers, and Dragoons. Each role is unique and can bring strength to your team when used correctly. First, we have my favorite, the Hussars. Hussars have the fastest horses, so they can run down enemy horsemen easily. They also come equipped with a sword or saber to slash their opponents with. There used to be a feature where if a Hussar's horse was traveling full speed, any time he hit someone, it would be a one-shot kill, but I think they have since removed that. Lancers are unique in that they carry an anti-cavalry weapon on a horse. The lance offers them longer reach to stab both mounted opponents and enemies on foot. It will also take down any horse it pokes, providing that the horse is going fast enough. Lancers also have a sword to use when they are dismounted or just in the mood. This class sports the medium horse, so it can outrun Dragoons, but not Hussars. Dragoons are a very interesting breed, basically mounted infantry. They have the slowest horses, but are equipped with a short-barreled musketoon that can be used once dismounted. The Musketoon is my least favorite gun in the game, but it reloads faster than a greased rabbit. I suppose it's something you could use to try and get snipes from afar with. I've never really been fond of this class, but it has its pros. There are two different ways to attack from horseback. If you click while moving your cursor up towards the sky, you will swing your sword level with your body. This attack is primarily used to kill enemy cavalry. Your second attack, triggered by clicking while moving the cursor down towards the ground, is mostly used to stab enemies on foot and enemy mounts. A full speed connection from horseback will bring a target down to one hit from full health, so it's easy to finish them off. There's no way to attack your left side, so make sure never to expose it to anything. Also, if your horse is killed, try to fight and survive till you can find a new one to commandeer. This way you can get right back in the fight. Don't charge uphill towards someone. It gives them plenty of time to see you and put a bead on you. Also, avoid running in front of cannons. Grape shot shreds horses like nothing else, so never get in the main line of artillery fire. That's about it for this time. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, click that like button. If you want to see more videos, subscribe to the channel. Leave your feedback in the comments section below. And, uh, yeah. That's all I gotta say for now. Skip Gaming, signing out. Goodbye.